Kawara must now return to the surface and begin the end of the human race. Kawara would wish for no such thing. He would never harm a human. Right, Kawara? Oh, just dots and glowing and red. It seems he is hesitant to agree with you. Ho, ho, ho. Bah. He has been swallowed by the demon spores. Our voices will not reach him. It is time for us to go. He has but little time left in this world and cannot afford to waste any of it. He has but little time? What does this mean? His duty is to fly about the world, spreading the seeds of throughout. The seeds of throughout all of humanity. It will be a feat impossible for any normal rock dove. Of course, he will be shot at as well. If he were to fall from his wounds, he would die before completing his task. Koo, do not fear. Okasan will stop Ryuta here and now. Koo. There he goes. Mr. Kawara has traded his free will for normally impossible physical tenacity. He's been brainwashed? We haven't we have to stop him and bring him back to his senses before he reaches the surface, but Oko is stronger than any of us and he was sent flying just like that. How can we keep him here? Hmm. Kawara is very strong but lacks control now, right? Maybe we should ask Hagyur. What him? He's nuts. Ha 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 black Biandana. There he goes again, spouting nonsense. Wait, Kawara, stop! Ah! Oh dear, there goes Shirogani. The demon red eye speaks, sealed the disaster with the power of the chosen one. The fuck? He's reacting. How is that frail Luzon able to affect him? What is he doing? Hypnotizing him? According to the documents back there, Hagior has the ability to pull others into his own fantasies and break down their mental restraints. I was talking to the doctor about it earlier, too. I think it's real. Mental restraints, like how a desperate man can be stronger than usual. The demon red eye heralds the awakening! By the power of the blood-stained hand, I seal the funeral song. Koo, Okasan attack! Okasan cannot possibly lose in a fight with Ryuta. There we go, perfect. We're supposed to convince Ryuta to stop while ourselves being drawn into some bizarre fantasy. This is madness. Don't think about the consequences, Shirogani. Just go along with it. Prepare yourselves. We fight brethren bound with the red lotus fetters. Whatever that means. Ryota, Textoris Melodia Funis appears. Angel's turn. Oh, pure wings awaken. Textoris Melodia Fenis, now is time to break Wallenstein's spell. Hear the call of the red lotus. Sand's turn. Uh, double coup, please. Coo! A violent Ryota is not a good Ryota. Come to your senses. Kazuki's turn. Listen to us. We're all trying our best for you, Kawara. Come back to us. Sakuya's turn. Pull yourself together. Do you not care? Do you plan to destroy all we've gained? Stop, Kawara. This is not the path you must travel. <coughs> Question mark's turn? Oh, it's my little soul bit. Jeez, Ryota, you're causing everybody trouble. I don't want to see you like this either. I'm the only Berserker class character this story needs. Wake up already, Ryuta. Ryuta was defeated. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> Ugh. Kawara, pull yourself together. Do you want this? Mm, no. 
I don't. Cuckoo, Ryota is a vegetarian and shouldn't exert himself. I don't want to make anyone sad. The remitter reactivated? Fascinating. Fascinating. It should not have been possible for some hours yet. Disease is half in the mind, after all. Outlook is surprisingly important. I suppose this means my data was insufficient. This is the end, dark sorcerer Wallenstein. Be judged by the crimson breast. Wait, Ankle. It's not his fault. Like hell it's not. Why do you protect him? He's the one who did this to you. Tell me, Doctor, why did you go so far to grant my wish? Why did I grant your wish? My reason is nothing of note. It is not worth telling. This was merely an experiment. That has now come to an end. You must have had a reason. You aren't the sort to go around talking to children without some purpose. I want to know the answer to everything. The answer is nowhere near as glamorous as you are expecting, I assure you. Do something happen. Good morning, Isa. Sorry to spring this on you, but could you take a look at these? What is it, sir? You seem excited. It's amazing, the healers we got earlier. Healers? Ah, the Hila cells from last month. Yeah, them, from the unusually old human. Aiding science even after death. Can't we at least call the samples by their proper name? You've always been serious like that, Isa. These samples are like sweet lovebirds. Touch them with kindness and they respond beautifully. Just how many lovebirds do you have again? Perhaps you should call them pet birds instead. Uh, maybe you're right. Anyway, look at this. We've been looking into cancer cell immortality. This? Indeed, these results are amazing. You're quite lucky with these things. It's all about love. Or intuition. That too. Kawara... Ryuji. He is quite possibly the most g gifted researcher alive. He has abilities and intuition that not even he can explain. Hey, good morning, Isa. Nice weather, huh? Makes me want to do something outside. Like sex? It's already evening. I believe no one normally switches to good evening around now. It's good morning whenever I get up, Isa. Get distracted by things like common sense, and you'll miss the greatest discoveries of your life. Sophistry? Hey, good morning, Isa. Whoopsie, we're low on cash. Here, was this the one? I didn't ask you to pick it up for me. Here, take it. It's not like we're running out. You sound like a pushy salesman. Your right wing is injured, right? If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've been doing fine so far. Oh dang, they're all birds. <sighs> hey, good morning, Isa. Hey, can I say something? What is it, sir? I am somewhat bitty, busy. You're always busy. If I waited for you to take a break, I'd die of old age before I got to say. Talking like this gets us nowhere. Guess what? I had a kid. Hmm? I see. Congratulations. Well, what? Don't you have anything else to say? Not particularly. Reproduction is natural for all living creatures. Of course, were I to become a father, I would feel bad for the child given my habit of locking myself away in the laboratory. The only bird who I ever recognize. The only one I ever recognize as worthy of my respect. Hey, good morning, Isa. I brought you something cool. Hmm, what is it? A fossil, look at it. It's huge. You act like an excited child. Hey, I like geology too. Ah, uh, it tempts me with spouse breach. Uh, what? I will carry on your research while you are out there, then. Go on. Dang, you're cold. Hey, listen, want to come with me on a business trip sometime? Field observation is fun. My next one's at the start of the m month. Well, I'm interested in your work, sir. I am partway through a fascinating process at the moment. Perhaps another time. Yeah, I'll invite you next time, then. I bet traveling with you would be a blast. Field observation is not exactly sightseeing. I will make sure to open time in my schedule, though. His last moments were dreadfully anticlimactic. He fell ill with a disease endemic to the island. By the time we returned home, he was so emaciated one could barely recognize him. 
He had watched as many other birds succumb to the disease, so I was sure, sure that he would die in his examination room, surrounded by his family. Isa, I always knew this was a possibility. Yes, sir. I don't regret the way I did things. No, sir. But I just remembered. I do have one regret. Yes, sir. I've never done anything a father's supposed to do. I'd promise to take time off for the first time in years. I want you to do me a favor, Isa. If you ever run into my son, can you do something for him in my stead? A rather vague request. He's too nice. He'd never ask for us something, even if you wanted it. I suspect he inherited that trait from his father. Ha ha. Anyway, if you ever happen to meet him, you don't have to go out of your way to find him or anything. Hmm, very well. I shall remember. What is his name? Ryuta. It's Kawara. Ryuta. You vanished from my life before I ever told you my feelings, and I've chased your shadow since then. Is this what they meant, mean by quitting while you're ahead, or was it just cowardice? No matter how I study life, its past, its future, I will never be able to surpass you, and that was my only goal, Kawara Ryuta, the son of Dr. Kawara, carrying half his genetic material and otherwise unrelated. But this boy, he may be the only way for me to catch your shadow now. Oh, you're just, that's, you're so messed up, you're... Oh, that's the end of seventh class. Oh, there's another class. Oh, oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just uh, keep going then. When your father died, my world was altered. One might say that his influence over me grew after death, both for good and for ill. Kawara Ryuji, all I can recall of him now is his voice and the color of his wings. He rarely returned home, always leaving mother and me alone. You did this to carry out my father's will? You messed up. You misunderstand. This was not just a parting kindness between colleagues. I doubt that there is anyone in this world with a stronger sense of duty than mine. This was his final challenge to me. And you see the result. But your refusal is hardly rational. I was trying only to grant your wish, and had you but accepted, it would be so. Are you dissatisfied with something? A world without strife, where no one would have a loved one stolen from them. That is the world I wished for. I never asked for a world where the human race is killed. A pity that you did not say so eight years ago. What observed contract was this? There is no power in prayer. I should never have met you. Doctor, my wish ends today. Father is no longer in this world. There is no reason for you to chase after his final will anymore. Ho 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 ho. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Does this mean you are sympathizing with me? Oh, how I have fallen. I can feel his pitying gaze even now. Very well, the contract ends today, and I must admit defeat. It is not over yet. We must open the gate of Tartarus in the depths of the abyss. We only have about ten minutes until the humans come in from above. I see you are still alive, gentlemen. Mr. Leone, I bring with me all those who had taken refuge in the gym. Whoa, it's like something out of a science fiction movie. I bet it was built by MIBs. Do they have those in Japan? Rad. The MIB. Well, I guess nobody's panicking anyway. Mr. Shirogani, I will recover Sakazaki's body before I leave. Have no fear. I'm grateful to you. The exit is no doubt activated by the vital signals of the researchers who work here. Correct. Do not fear, I shall lead you to it. Cuckoo, the doctor is even creepier when he's being cooperative. I do not base my actions on foolish pride or emotion. I carried out an experiment and I have now obtained the result. I have nothing more to gain or lose here. Is that everyone? Thank God. Shall we go, Kawara? Can you stand? Ah, uh, yeah, but we need to bring stuff with us. Yes, you do need to bring things with you. I think everyone else has gone outside. Doctor, I shall not forget what has taken place here. Once we are outside, I shall see that you face judgment. Your words are haughty and immature as always. Do as you please if you can. I will indeed remember my face, villain. Well, who knows? I find you uninteresting, so I may well forget. I must think carefully about my plans once I am outside. I still have much research to... 
Oh, the guns are here. Guns! Doctor? A gunshot echoes through the room. The doctor collapses. Madness, there should still be time before the humans. Oh. Mr. Nanaki? A pistol in his hand. He wobbles over to the doctor with the same unsteady, careless gait as always. And... Ah, Gog! This is the end of your research. Nanaki, what? Stop, the doctor should have a fair trial once we... A fair trial, hmm? What do you think, doctor? Ah, uh, well, I am impressed at your acuity in attacking my uninjured left side. But of course, thank you. Tell me, Dr. Iwami no Isa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me, where is Nageki? Nanaki points his gun at the immobilized doctor. He looks quite prepared to shoot the partridge dead at any moment. Oh, is that it? Ho ho, I had quite forgotten. Mr. Fujishiro's brother, he was a quail. I don't know how that works. Like, sexually. Nageki, are you by yourself here again? You should play in the park with everyone else. I'm fine. I would just get tired. Isn't talking to me a waste of time, Hitori? You've been busy recently, have you not? I know we're short on money. That's not something you need to worry about. We adults are working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. You're a child too, Hitori. You're only five years older than me, after all. You don't think I should be working? No, that's not what I meant. I just, I can't do anything. Oh yeah, I forgot that they were, that he was adopted. My brain is not here right now. I just can't do anything. At least, I at least want to stay out of your way. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. That doesn't help. With my, my body like this, I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nageki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away, right? September 2nd, 2180, Hatoful House, where the rest of the war orphans and I lived together. I was always a little better at studying than the others, so I teach at the local school to help make ends meet. Going to work and coming home, every Friday we all gather together and have supper. There are children who go to school. There are those who work like me, and children like Nageki who stay home. Our family is a patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over, or we could pool our money and buy something. But I had more work than usual last month, so I got paid a little more than usual. I'll get something nice. I'll head home and see what everyone wants first. But this day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. It's an attack by the Human Liberation Front. Front. We can't let any birdie in. We sent two human negotiators, but they were shot. We're going to storm the place. Get back, it's dangerous. Hey you, are you listening? Re I remember angry shouts coming from every direction, but I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only thing I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. Today was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one can disappear today. We have to be together today, no matter what. When I went in, the gunshots had stopped. All that were left were corpses and ruin and... Ah! Everyone, everyone is covered in blood, immobile, the humans, the security forces, and my family. What did we do? We had nothing. Our parents and our homes had already been stolen by the humans. All we had left were each other. Why do they have to keep stealing from us? Why? Why? Hey, Tori. You were outside. Good. Nageki, you're alive. Everyone else? I see. Nageki was hiding in the innermost room. He must have heard everything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses are scattered throughout the room. Nageki, were you afraid? I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Hattori. I wasn't here when you needed me. Don't apologize, Hattori. I don't know if I could live if you were gone, too. When I found him then, I didn't notice, but none of the human corpses in that room had been shot. This will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us, right? It's a little lonely, yes. Hattori, what should I do? Isn't there anything I can do to help? You just have to be happy and well. Don't put yourself. We'll find something for you to do, okay? I noticed almost as soon as we'd moved out of Hatoful House. He was never very healthy to begin with, but he was getting worse and worse. What would start out as a slight cold would turn into a high fever and go on for days. 
It was painful to watch. Was it really just his weak body? I couldn't do anything. We should get a doctor. Should we get a doctor, Nageki? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nageki, wait. You still have a fever. Don't worry about the dishes. I'll take care of them. I told you I'm fine. Don't. If you just say how you feel outright, I'll feel better too, Nageki, okay? But how about this? From now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. What do you... Whenever you say you're fine, you never are. Okay. okay. Go to bed for now, okay? Tomorrow I'm taking you to a doctor. So Japanese. This is highly unusual. Nageki has a genetic condition which impairs his immune system. Impairs his immune system. All living creatures inherit defense systems against viruses and like and the like from their parents, and we call them the immune system, but Nageki's is abnormally weak. And that's why he gets sick easily? Indeed. He can be become infected with diseases that bodies such as yours or mine would fight off easily. It is probably best if he avoids going outside, as that could bring him into contact with more dangerous viruses. He could become seriously ill with little or no warning. Please, can you cure him? I will find whatever money it takes. He's the only family I have left. I understand how you feel, but as I said, his condition is hereditary. I have never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but I can't help him. We went to many hospitals and talked to many doctors. They all said the same thing. I can't help him. Someone please save Nageki. Anyone. I'll do anything. We had been all alone, but we found a home together, and it was taken from us. And now this. Someone please help us. Soon after the start of 2183, a letter arrived. It was from a researcher at the St. Pidgeot Nations Medical Institute, a Mr. Isa Suma. I have received a report about a boy named Fujishiro Nageki from a doctor at a certain hospital. I believe I know what his condition is. It is extremely rare, so my fellow researchers and I would be grateful for a chance to assist in curing it. We hereby invite him to come study at St. Pidgeot Nations. We believe that solving the riddle of his sickness will bring great advances to all bird science. The medical center will pay for his tuition. St. Pidgeo Nations is a school of great prestige. Our curricula and facilities are among the best in the world. Our medical center is located on the school grounds. We propose that he live in the center out of concern for his delicate health. He will have access to professional medical expertise anytime he should need it. Please consult with the rest of your family, and if you are interested, contact me at the following address. I will be waiting. Isa Soma. This is amazing, Nageki. I'm glad we went to so many hospitals. I never expected an invitation like this. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, Hattori. But you will be able to go to school. I can only teach you what I know, and there's a lot that I don't know. And you'll be able to make friends. The doctors there will help you with your illness, so you won't have to be sick. Do you not want me here, Hattori? Of course I do, but I'm worried. If you were to get really sick, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I think it would be better for you to stay with the doctors. I'll be lonely by myself, but I can wait until you're better. Become strong, Nageki, and then come back here. I'll wait for you however long it takes. Okay. And so Nageki enrolled in St. Pidgeo Nations. There have been a lot of us at Hatoful House, and after that, I was with Nageki. I was lonely living by myself for the first time, but I was more worried about Nageki. I hope he makes good friends, but he's never been very sociable. At least he will have an easier life there than here. And most importantly, they'll be looking for a cure. The summer of that year, he sent a lot of letters home. I'm going to be undergoing intensive treatment over the summer. I wanted to come home, but they said this would be better for me. How are you? I'll write again soon. I asked Dr. Isa about a meeting, but he said no. I'm not the only one here with an unusual illness, and they have to be very careful about who comes in. Summer's half over now. Is it hot out? The basement of the center is always the same light and the same temperature. I miss you, Hattori. I'm fine. I'm fine, Hattori. Don't worry about me. I was worried. Nageki hadn't told me he was fine since he promised not to three years ago. What are they doing to him? Are they doing something bad to him? I tried calling Dr. Isa, but he always replied with progress is good and everything is fine. Why won't they let me talk to him? I snuck into the medical center. I need to know if he's really alright. I said that he said that he was under owing under owing intensive care in the basement. That must be where he is. 
How do I get there? I need to the entrance to the basement. That was when I heard the alarm. I could hear urgent footsteps and the sound of wings. This building has all the most advanced equipment. They must have noticed me. But I was greeted at the d corner not by guards, but by panicked researchers, all shouting the same thing, all heading for the exit. Fire! Fire! What? A fire. Subject zero zero set a fire. Call the fire department. Black smoke rolls towards me from the inner corridors. Nageki, where is Nageki? Nageki, say something, please. Where are you? It's happening again. Nageki needs me and I'm not there. I always leave him alone when he's in pain. The smoke is clogging my lungs with its foul stench, but I run onwards anyway. Nageki's there in a room filled with fire. Nageki, it's me, Hattori. I'm here to save you. Hattori, what happened? What did they do to you? Come on, we have to get out of here. I'm sorry. His face is clouded. He shuts the door and... Open the door, Nageki. Hattori. I can't go outside anymore. I can't live anymore. What did they do to you? I'm a fool. All this time I thought you were getting better. I thought you'd come home cured. I should be the one apologizing. Nageki, please, come home with me to our home. Listen, Hattori, I re recorded everything that happened here and hid it in the library. It's wrong. This is the only way to stop them. What are you talking about? We can talk later. I can't let you die. Can you do me a favor, Hattori? Anything, please. Please make sure there's nothing left of my body, and... Uzi Izuni Hattori. I had heard that he died after the fire, but it would seem that our investigation was lacking. It's hardly easy to change your name and face. Nageki. He's calling. He's calling to me, you know. Isa. I came to greet Nageki. Where is he? I see you are losing hold of your sanity. I'm serious. I've been waiting for this from the beginning. He told me what you were doing to him here. But then you closed the facility. I've been waiting for this, Isa. Waiting for you to open this place again. Ever since I joined the faculty. He's still here, isn't he? Nageki? There were indeed some pieces of him left after the fire. They would have degraded in mere hours had I left them. If it pleases you to call these bits of meat Fujishiro Nageki, I will not attempt to stop you. But those pieces have already been transferred to Mr. Kawara's body. Ooh, more gunshots. You won't die just yet, Isa. Don't worry. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Nageki? I have to take him home now. If by Nageki you mean what was left of him after the fire, then it is Mr. Kawara's liver. The cells from his body that contain the Chiaran virus are now inside Mr. Kawara, parasiting him. <coughs> oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Isa. Hang on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask Nageki what he thinks we should do with you. Master Nanaki comes over to me, the same soft smile on his face as he t when he teaches class. Can you hear me, Nageki? I'm sorry I made you wait so long. I'm here now. Sir, it's me, Kawara Ryuta, from your class. Please snap out of this. I don't know what happened in the past, Nanaki, but this is not the time for such foolery. We have only a few more minutes before the humans enter the school grounds. It won't take them long to find this place. Mm, could you move over for a second, Shirogane? I need to talk to Kawara. He points the gun at Sakuya. The hell, man. Sakuya, he, he's serious. Yeah. It's too noisy in here. Come on, Kawara, let's go into that room, just the two of us. What are you thinking? Are you planning to lock yourself in? Open the door. Open it, I say. Isa said he's in your liver, didn't he? Where's the liver, I wonder? Do you know Kawara? Sister, Nageki would never have wanted this. He stares thoughtfully at my stomach knife in his hand. My body feels weak. I think I must have put too much into that fight earlier. I won't be able to resist. Nageki, 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 can you hear me? I've come to save you again. Where are you? Tell me. What part of Kawara do I need to cut open to find you? Nageki, 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 Nageki. Sir, listen to me. He moves the knife from one place to another as if making an estimation. He's going to. Oh, I see. It's hide and seek. I'll look as hard as I can then. Just a little longer. We'll be able to go home in just a little bit, Nageki. Together. This is messed up. Stop it, Hattori. 
The knife is stuck deep into the wall under my wing. I can hear Nageki's voice, but I can't see him. The voice is coming from inside me. Mr. Kawara, let me use your body for a bit. Okay, go ahead, ghost person. Can you hear me, Hattori? Of course. I've talked with you every single night. You told me, Nageki. You told me to come get you. you. told me to exact revenge on Isa. No, Hattori, that was not me. I never told you to do that. Have you forgotten what I asked you to do, Hattori? The second thing? I remember. Of course I remember. So let's go home. Listen, Hattori, I am no longer here. I can no longer go home with you. <coughs> Who said that? Oh, I see. It was Isa, wasn't it? Only... <laughs> <laughs> Only he would say something mean like that. No, it wasn't him. Don't worry, Nageki. I'll take care of him in a minute. Don't worry. Hattori, I never asked for you to come for me. I never asked for you to exact revenge. Who was it? Nageki. It was Nageki. He d I died because of you. You abandoned me here. I never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. I will not forgive Hitori. I'm sorry, Nageki, but I know that no apology will ever fix it. Sir, what? There's a shadow in Hitori's heart. His own shadow pretending to be mine. Come for me, Hitori. I'm here. I know, I know. I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. You will never forget me. You will live with me. You will live with your sin forever. That is what you want, isn't it? If you want me to carry this pain, I will, Nageki. I won't ask for forgiveness. I won't. He's crying. Tortured by his own shadow. I'm sorry, Nageki, I'm sorry. Hattori, I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt. He wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him. Yes. It's got really Japanese. Hattori, I was tortured by them here in this place. It was terrible. I and the others should die in pain. All of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki, revenge will solve nothing. Mm. Sir, you and Nageki both lost the most important things to you, to strife. You should know best of all, people that revenge helps no one. It brings no happiness, only pain. If I had a mother, Nageki would never have died. I was never there when he needed me. I'm sorry, Nageki. If I had been better, this would never have happened. Everything would have been fine if you'd never met me. If I hadn't been there, you'd never would have felt pain. Sir, why? Are you doing this to yourself? Oh, are you mad at me now? The time Nageki spent with you was his greatest treasure. I know how wonderful it is to be able to be together with loved ones, too. Nageki is glad to he got to be with you, sir. There's nothing to regret. Come with me, Hitori. Look at me, Hitori. Hear only my voice, Hitori. I will tear your heart to pieces, and when it heals, I will tear it again and again and again. That is your punishment. It will be wonderful to live with me again. Wonderful. Hitori, blame yourself no more. Please, Hattori, listen to me. The voice you hear is out of your own shadow. You have been hurting yourself all this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you in pain. <coughs> you asked me for two things, Nageki. First was, come save me, so I... Listen to me, Hattori. My first wish was... My first wish was for you to make my body disappear from this world. As long as I live, as long as my body remains, someone will try to use the Sharon virus. That virus must disappear my body with it. It will bring only sadness as long as it remains. You asked for one other thing. You asked me to take revenge on Dr. Isa, on all those who brought you pain. Yes. I need to grant this wish. I need to. Uh. Hattori. My second wish was... No, Hattori. That was not my wish. Remember, Hattori. Remember my final wish. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nageki. Let's go pick some milled in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away, right? What a beautiful sunset. I guess it's autumn already. Are you cold, Nageki? I'm fine. 
Hattori, hmm? It would be easier for you to do without me, right? Why would you think that? I heard you and the others talking about it. Medicine costs a lot more than food. You're paying for it out of your salary, right? If you had that money for yourself, you could buy better food. You wouldn't have to work so much, so you would be better off without me. Don't say that, Nageki. I don't care about fancy food or free time. You're more important than any of that. You mean more to us than you think, Nageki. You were very young when you came here, so maybe you don't remember, but losing family is hard. I want to stay like this, watching over the people I love forever. So listen, maybe it looks like I'm working just for you, but it's for me, too. Seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you, Hattori. I just wish I wasn't such a burden to you. Stop that already. You've never been a burden to me. Here, have some millet. Eat well and we can sleep well, too. Let's hope for good dreams, okay? I don't know what's happening anymore. They're having feelings. There's bird feelings everywhere in the bird sky. I hope we can stay with everyone like this forever. Yes. Yes. My second wish was live, Hattori. Live and be happy. Oh, you screwed that up. Nageki, I can't be happy. You're gone. I can't be with you anymore. Look at me, Hattori. I want you to live. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I couldn't tell why I was still here. At first I thought my remains, the parts of me are inside Mr. Kawara now, were keeping me here. But I don't think so now. I think I was worried. Worried that you wouldn't be able to keep going alone. I can't, Nageki. I can't go on without you. I don't want to live without you. We've stayed here too long, Hattori. We have to move on. Don't worry, we'll meet again somewhere, sometime. Mr. Kawara, thank you. Kawara, are you unhurt? Pops, where's my phone? Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. How unexpected. If it were me, your insides would have divulged themselves and their secrets long ago. Nanaki, I will not forgive this Madden. Don't worry about it, Sakuya. It's already over. We need to get out. We're already out of time. Indeed. Nageki was kept frozen in here, right, Doctor? Indeed he was. The facility is, was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Fry. What? What are you saying, Kawara? Come on with us at once. I see. Kawara, I thought you would say that. The Sharon virus has by now colonized your body quite completely. Were you to leave any humans you encountered would suffer a painful death. What? Was this your plan all along, you conniving physician? Surely there is a way to remove the virus. Alas, that would be impossible with current medical technology. Once established in the body, it is quite tenacious. Even if we were to mute, remove the tissues from Mr. Fujishiro, Mr. Kawara would still carry the virus. <coughs> Madness, lunacy. The same goes for Miss Stuff's damaged brain. It is currently preserved inside a glass jar, but just barely. Indeed, given Labor Nine's behavior and the subsequent damage she was dealt, there is no guarantee that her personality and memories are still retrievable. With current medical technology, anyway. Shirogani, let's go outside. Do you mean to leave Kawara here? How deep does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's impossible now, but one day we may be able to remove the virus from his body. I think that Nageki would say the same. Well, Mr. Shirogani, I think perhaps you will do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts on the matter. I feel as if this one day has brought an entire lifetime's worth of fatigue. I just want to rest for a little while. I'm worried about my mother. Sakuya, could you tell her I'll be back one day? Listen, Kawara. A label, no. I never go back on my word. No matter how long it takes, I will come back for you, I swear. So, promise me, please. Promise me that you'll leave this place with me alive. Right, I promise. I'll be waiting for you. A lot sure happened today, Fry. Does this mean we're finally getting to recap into recap mode, Ryuta? Does this mean we're finally getting into recap mode, Ryuta? I'm half sick from being stuck out here, not even knowing what's going on. Ah ha ha, yeah, I guess you only got to see bits and pieces of the story. Don't be mad, I'm almost done. 
Come here, buddy. Yep, so will you fill me in, please? Um, I guess we have plenty of time for it. I'm going to miss eating udon. Ooh. I'm going to miss eating udon. But having you here makes things at least a little better, right? Where do I start? Everything that's... Everything that's happened, what's happening now, and... Everything that might happen one day. We have plenty of time to talk about it all. Such romance. Oh shit, I get a new ending. Hello. Yeah, bud. We dated the hell out of those pigeons. Wife, it isn't my darling little brother. Salutations. You scum, you villain. Explain yourself. Why? Why? Well, for starters, I could never bring myself to leave all the ladies sad and alone. How much must you mock me before you will be satisfied? Hello again, Leon? Truth be told, Leon here gave me an antidote. I was loitering around on the border between life and death, and he pulled me back up in a miraculous revival. But he said he was going to recover your body. I do not recall saying I was going to recover his corpse. Lunacy, madness, inconceivable. Give it back. Give me back the time and mental energy I spent mourning you. You mourned me? I'm flattered. Gah. We can't stay long, Sakazaki Yuya. It's time to set out on our next bright and massive mission. This is your chance to regain the department's trust. Roger that. Let's go, sexy and suave. Cuckoo, Okasan fell smooth. There's a deliciousness nearby. Ehehehe, <laughs> black bean dana. Cuckoo, Ankel, do you have food? Ah, uh, what did I? God, the demon spores encroach again. Coo, stick em up. Okasan demands your beans or your life. So you appear, bone white bird of bean eating. By the oath of old, join me. They're still going at it? What an adorable epilogue. Hello, Shirogani. How are you? Why are you, of all people, pushing Iwamin's wheelchair? I would never have expected to see you two together. Taking responsibility for injuries dealt to another party by tending to them seems to be a natural enough reaction to me. I need to apologize somehow, don't I? If you change your mind and decide it's time to exact revenge again, I never met either of you, understand? Come on, Shirogani. That would never happen, probably. Ho, 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 how wonderful. I can feel the suspense in the air. Somehow I feel like attempting to apply ethical guidelines to either of you is completely futile. Anyway, I need to talk to you. I have the results from the experiment the other day. There are no problems? None at all. It was a perfect success. What? Well, I guess that means it's time, doesn't it? I... I have the date. If you can come, please do. Mr. Kawara. Mr. Kawara, Miss Stuff, can you hear me? Morning is almost here. Well, that was messed up. Wake up, Kawara. Stuff, I told you I wouldn't go back on my word. Thanks for playing. Oh, that's it. What a weird epilogue. Thank you. And, um, I pretty much played this as far as I could possibly play it. Okay, so, my verdict is that it was very strange, and, um, I have no idea what to think about it. Uh, I have a couple of different choices for my next game to play. Um, I still think I might do off, but, you know, uh, at least I finished this one. Alright. Until next time, bye!